African country with over 25 million people and counting, boasts of many colorful and vibrant markets, some major and others minor. And unlike any other markets in the world, Ghanaian markets are unique because you can find everything from oranges to three-piece suits. Trading in Ghana first began when settlers first arrived here and the main method of trading was through butter system and later evolved to exchange of calories locally called CDA. This till date became the country's currency which is now referred to as CDs. <laughs> Supermarkets and malls spread across Ghana, but a huge chunk of its population still patronize the local markets. Let's talk about street markets. Ghana has 10 administrative regions, and in every region, there is at least one major street market, from Kutukraba Market in Cape Coast, the central region, to Market Circle in Takrade in the western region, to Makala Market in Accra, which is in the greater Accra region, to Batama Market in Kumasi the Ashanti region all the way up north to Tamale Central Market in Tamale Northern region. Now all these markets are unique, beautiful, colorful and extremely busy. The food traffic is usually very 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 packed especially during the main market days. So you have your choice. You can decide to visit the mall and you can get mostly imported items get that serene feel that organized and you know western feel or you can visit the local market and get a feel of the true Ghanaian experience so we're not going to be in the um, supermarket or the mall type setting we are actually going into the local market itself to see what we can get and we're doing this on a budget so our target is $28 which should be around 200 Ghana CDs and we want to see how much stuff we can get with just $28 in our pockets but before that let me take you through a few things that I'm doing right now so here yeah, I have a bunch of uh, fresh pepper and I want to plant them so I just cut one and um, open and I'm basically taking out the seeds So we have pretty much emptied this bell pepper and I'm supposed to leave this to dry for I think they said 10 days. So all I'll do is take this and put it on my window ledge. So there we have it, it's right beside our lovely avocado firstborn that is now such a big boy. So I went to the ECG vendor to get my lights and uh, refill my prepaid meter. And this was just an amazing experience. Let me share with you guys what happened. I bought light of 16 TVs and I noticed that my total charge was 73.7. So they added 57 CDs extra on it. And I was a bit confused. I'm like, I paid, I know I paid 16 CDs. And the guy was explaining to me that actually the government is adding COVID relief. So, um, whatever you buy, they give you 50%. So, it seems like the government has given me three months COVID relief. And so, even though I bought 16 CDs light, I have 73 CDs recharge, which is freaking amazing. guys good afternoon so I am actually going to the market to get foodstuffs for the month I have my list already made and yeah it's quite sunny so I want to take you guys along so you can see what you can get um, at the market maybe if you're on a budget and all that so let's go this is the budget 200 Ghana CDs this is what we're going to use today and let's see what and what we can get with this.
Sell your tomatoes. This one is 30 cities. 15, 30 cities, 45. Give me the 10. <coughs> Also leave this one. Yes. Um, how do you sell? Agusi. Mm. I have five CD, ten CDs. Can I see the five CD? Five CD, ten CDs. And the blended ones, how do you sell? Five CDs and ten CDs and two CDs. Let me see the two CDs. Yeah, November, I'm Yeah. 
you let me have the five seed. One down. Why? What happened? <laughs> okay, thank you. Hello, Madam Umbra. Why? Yes, we have one. Now I'm the buyer. If I talk ten cents, how do you sell? Please, I have sixty. I'll give you two fifteen. Is that the only one you have? No, I have forty. I'll give you two thirty. Where's the one for ten? This is the ten. Mommy, two or two CD and cannot be abandoned. And this is how much? This one. Mm. Ten CD. Bring nine. I'll give you eight. How okay. many? I want one. Okay. Give me a good one. Okay. So, how much should I add? Hi. Um, I want shrimp powder. How do you sell the fresh one? Yes. Can I see? 20. This one is 20. Okay. And, and then this is 50. Mm -hmm. Also, are the small one. And the blended one is how much? 20 and above. Okay, let me have the fresh one 10. So, so, you Thank you. I want to buy Indomie. Yes. No, I want box. The full box. It's 77. The small one. 37. 47. Is it the onion or which one? What about the other one? You don't sell the box. Yeah, the chicken. Indomie chicken. It's only this one. It's only this one that you have. Yes. Hmm. Okay. I'll have one. So this is my list guys. I like to make it small. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be bulky for me when I'm moving around carrying all the stuff. So yeah, basically this is what we are aiming for. And so far, we have been able to get almost everything on the list. I usually like to give an estimate and then I'll put the actual prices on the side when I buy them too. By the time I get home, I'll update this list and have a true total of my cost. Thank you. Um, do you have rich choco? Rich choco. How do you sell? What about the smaller size? Okay, I'll have that. Thank you. I'm 
No hard The view to Kino Blanya now, second for the Molobema. Nakman, I know who I was here, but when I got it, you know it. and as you can see I'm a little bit sweaty and I'm quite tired and yeah it was a successful one I noticed that market I went to they have their main market day which is on, on Saturday and Sunday so that's how come the market was quite empty today but I prefer that because I feel like it's less stressful and less chaotic and less packed as compared to when it's a main market day I spent less than 30 minutes at the market in total and I got everything I wanted a few tips for you to note when you're going to the market especially a local market I'll say number one have a list written down I personally like to do that because it helps to guide my focus and I don't overspend or go to the market buy a bunch of things I don't need impulse buying and come back finding out that I didn't get the essentials and I also like to go with a pen that way I'm able to tick off the items I've gotten and jot down the um, price because 
I noticed that the prices change a lot. Make sure your phone is still on by the time you're through so that you can actually request for an Uber drive because the normal taxis are quite pricier than um, Uber here. So if your phone is off, you may not be able to request a ride. And what else? Don't be afraid to ask for the same item from two or three different places. That way you're able to compare and contrast prices. Always ask for a discount, always ask for a bargain. For me, most of the items I got, I already know that this is their fixed price, so I didn't have to bargain as much. But if I find that an item is too expensive, I am always want to ask, oh, won't you give me a discount, won't you reduce the price? And they are always usually willing to. If they don't give you a discount, they would do something called Tusu, Tusu. I don't know I, I can't pronounce it well, well they will give you extra stuff in back home they call it Jara Kaya yo um, I don't know if you guys noticed but people kept coming to me with big baskets or big big bowls asking if I needed help to carry my things and because I wasn't shopping a lot I opted out but you can use them and you just tip them to help you carry your things around instead of you dragging them but if you're not buying a whole lot like myself um, here's a quick trick for you you can get a couple of your items maybe like when you're halfway through your list you can just pick that vendor that you're buying from tell the person that please you want to leave your items here usually they don't mind you leave the stocks you go in further you get the remainder of your items on your list and then you come back and you pick up your stocks and you go I like to do that with someone who is closer to the exit so that that way I'm able to um, have it closer to where the Uber will come and pick me. So yeah, that's basically what I did and Those are my quick tips for shopping guys shopping here is not that hectic I mean it depends on the market you go to and the day you go You pretty much can get anything that you would want if you want to see a video on grocery shopping in a supermarket in Like a mall or something. I'll link it up here um, I have videos on that so you can also check that out as well so I wanted to show you guys both sides shopping in a local market and shopping in like a proper mall or a grocery store and so you can compare and contrast both and see which one is more convenient for you mind you prices are a bit higher at the um, shopping malls so but with the shopping malls you tend to get imported items and imported goods in the local market you get fresh goods farm produce fresh items and yeah the choice is all yours okay so let me show you all the items that i got now so we're able to get a crate of egg i got enough of bread i got um sausage this is one kg turkey i got mangoes these are mangoes they're quite huge uh, and i got three one avocado a box of instant noodles a tuba of yam curry dried shrimps rich choco um, this is like hot chocolate contomere leaf it's in the bag a goosey onion one liter of oil sugar seasoning cubes habanero or pepper tomatoes so literally all of this that you see here costs me less than 200 Ghana cedis because I still have change left. So I'm going to tell you the price of everything and then we do the total cost. Sugar and it retailed for 2 cedis. Fritol was 8 cedis. Rich Choco was um, 11 cedis. Gary, this much Gary was 5 cedis. Um, one tuba of yam for eight cities, black eye peas for three cities, seasoning cube for five cities, all of these tomatoes for ten cities, agushi or agushi five cities, dried shrimps ten cities, onion five cities, all of this pepper for three cities these three mangoes for 10 cities avocado five cities um, turkey all of this for 18 cities um, sausage for six cities 
a crate of egg which contains 30 pieces for 18 CDs. Um, we have the leaf, contemporary leaf for two CDs. I just showed you the bread, two CDs, and the instant noodles. Um, and this is by Indomie, was for 47 CDs. They even written on the box. So, in total, I'll put up on the screen how much everything costs me. So with less than 200 Ghana CDs, you can have all of this for the entire month as an individual and you can actually cook food and be satisfied and don't have to eat out and save you a whole lot of money. With this, I'm able to do stew and soup and then of course I have other things on the side like bread, beverage, noodles to, you know, interchange and have something, have variety. So yeah, all of this. I got today at the market all right guys thank you so much for watching if you found this video interesting or helpful in any way please like the video it helps me a lot it helps my channel to grow more and if you're not yet subscribed please do so join the family we love to have you as part of us and do share the video to your friends and family let people see what living in Ghana is like and oh yeah um, if you have any further questions anything you like to clarify about living in Ghana moving in Ghana I would link my Ghana vlogs up here in the video and feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. I'll, I'm always open and willing to answer all your questions. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!